Raila Odinga has denied meeting and battled Kirinyaga Governor Anne Waiguru to save her political career. ODM, however, through Sunna East MP Mohamed Junaid Mohamed, has said that the party will save Waiguru amidst pressure on Senate to hold a plenary hearing as opposed to 11 member select committee. Senate is set to debate Waiguru motion on Tuesday. The ODM party leader Raila Odinga says he never met the impeached Kirinyaga governor Anne Waigoro as had been reported. In a statement, Odinga says he only met Laikipia woman representative Catherine Warogoro and not Waigoro. Reports indicated that Odinga met Waigoro at a city hotel to save her political career. He further states that he doesn't have the powers to influence senators to save her. Uh, even if it was there or not there, the reality is uh, Raila plays a big role when it comes to whipping uh, senators and even members of the National Assembly on issues of interest to him or to his friends. So I would not be surprised if that meeting is going to happen or might happen or a discussion of that nature will happen. Meanwhile, Kirinyaga members of parliament have piled pressure on Senate to hold a plenary session to discuss the fate of the governor. The members of parliament have questioned the credibility of an 11 member select committee. Our parents are fussy at Kusikizo, Manenoya, Kusikizo, Katika Prenari. In Manenoya Select Committee, one Ashuku Kwamba, Haiwezi, Kawapatia, Haki, Ilewa Nataka. Wale watu ambao, wana letter, a siasa za kuingilia watu binafsi, kama wako kwa serikali ya manje, wa achane na hizo siyasa na waache senate ifanye kazi yao. Hii kesi ya waiguru isikizwe na plenary ama whole house ya senate diposa kizi yake ikatwe na waone haki imetendeka. Senate meets on Tuesday to discuss how the matter will be handled. House Business Committee is already proposing an 11 member committee. The problem is when six of those can make a decision uh, that will bind all the others, 61 the others, the whole Senate, then that, that worries them. And if it worries them, then as Kenyans we should be extremely worried. The Jubilee Party says it has left the matter before senators. So we are watching with interest as well. Intense political lobbying is already taking place to save Governor Waiguru, who was impeached by the Kirinyaga County Assembly. Waiguru is accused of violation of the constitution, abuse of office, and gross misconduct. Andrin Kilemi, reporting for TV47.